At the crime lab, a test for the presence of mold spores were done in the administrative area where the employees are concentrated, you know, are currently occupying. And the test results with that was there was no significant difference between inside mold spores and the outside mold spores, except for in one area. According to GPD Crime Lab Chief Criminalist Monica Adasalas, that area is a small corner in the administrative section. She says they are now looking into removing the mold in that corner to make it safe. She adds that the space does not need to be used by the employees, so they're able to steer clear of the area. But mold is not the only issue faced at the crime lab. As reported, the underlying problem is that the cooling system has not been functioning. We are now looking at the various options for addressing not only the air cooling but the entire environmental control system, primarily focusing on the air conditioning system. So we have a few options. One is to repair the existing chiller system to give us some time, uh, maybe about a year to look at a permanent solution or uh, looking at installing split units in the administrative areas. At this time, they are weighing the cost difference and the long-term benefits of both options. But ultimately, the decision will be made by Chief Fred Berdalio. It is anticipated that it will cost $300,000 just for the cooling system in the laboratory, while the mold removal, which is ongoing, could cost $50,000, depending on the findings during the final assessment. As it exists right now, what, the, what can be seen is at about fifty thousand dollars, and once um, whichever company wins the award starts looking into the walls, and they may find there could be mold within the walls or inside the ducting, that cost could go up. Salas says a requisition is in place to begin requesting for bids. As for the asbestos testing conducted in the evidentiary control facility, we received the results back today, and what was found was that the test results were well below the EPA clearance criteria. This means the facility is safe in regards to asbestos. However, the facility is still plagued by other issues, such as having only one working air conditioner and a significant rodent problem. We have received price quotations to. Uh, cool the entire area. That requisition has gone in and it's in the procurement process right now. We are now again in the requisition phase for um, rodent and pest control and that has gone. That is going through uh, the procurement process. Currently what's happening is there is extensive cleanup being done at the laboratory, I mean at the uh, former laboratory which is the evidential control section now. It was reported that rats at the facility were eating away at evidence such as marijuana, but she says they are doing everything they can to mitigate the issue and preserve the evidence. Looking towards the future, she says the plan is to relocate the evidence control facility, and they are drawing up specifications for a requisition to lease a space that would meet the requirements for evidence storage. In addition, they are also looking at cost-saving measures, such as solar power to run both facilities. Meanwhile, Captain Kim Santos says that GPD is working with GSA, who is on board and is trying to expedite the process to mitigate the issues. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovis.